it's sweet corn season and there are so many great ways to eat sweet corn. Of course, the most traditional and all of our favorite is right off the cob. But if you're looking for something a little bit different to do with some sweet corn, why not make a fabulous sweet corn ice cream? Yes, I know this sounds so different and it really is, but it's so delicious. And when you think about it, sweet corn is extremely sweet. So how could it not be good in ice cream? It's perfect for summer and it's great to serve to your family and friends. To start, we're gonna start, of course, like we do with every ice cream base, cream and milk. In a heavy bottom kettle, place two and a half cups of heavy cream and two and a half cups of milk. The higher fat content milk you use, of course, the more rich and creamy the ice cream will be, but you can make that choice. To the milk and cream, add one cup of sugar, On your work surface, take three ears of fresh corn on the cob and cut off the corn with each one. Cut the cobs into large chunks and place them with the corn directly into the milk mixture. This is gonna flavor the milk mixture with the sugar that's inside the corn and the flavor of the corn. Place this on a stove and let it come to just a simmer around the edges. In a separate bowl, separate six large eggs. We're making a custard base for this ice cream, so it's going to be extremely rich and creamy and smooth, and so you need egg yolks for this. Whisk the egg yolks just to make sure they combine with each other. When your melt mixture comes to just a simmer and is steaming around the edges with slight bubbles, you want to start tempering your eggs. Add a small ladleful at a time to your egg yolks just to make sure to bring them to temperature. Otherwise, your eggs will just scramble and that will not be any good in your ice cream. Once you've added about a quarter of your milk mixture to your eggs, you can add the egg yolks right back into the milk mixture. Set the milk, egg, and corn mixture back on the stove and heat it up until it coats the back of a wooden spoon. Once the mixture is thickened, you can take it off the stove and run it through a fine mesh strainer just to get any bits and pieces out. This will also catch all of the corn and the cobs. You want to make sure to pick out and discard any of the cobs, and you can also discard the corn if you want at this point. But I like to add it back in for texture and flavor. It is so different, and it, yes, is very unique, but I think once you try it, you're going to love it. Once you have the strained mixture, which I'm adding the corn back to, add a pinch of salt, and two tablespoons of corn syrup. This will just help smoothen and sweeten the whole mixture. Before freezing any ice cream, you want to make sure it is extremely cold. And since this one is warm and it's a custard base and was made on the stove, it will take quite a while. So make sure to place it in your fridge for at least four hours and if best, overnight. Once your custard is well chilled, follow the instructions that come with your ice cream maker. I use an attachment that goes with my KitchenAid and I love it. This recipe is for a two quart freezer, so you may need to adjust the measurements accordingly. Mine takes about 20 to 30 minutes for a decent freeze in my ice cream freezer. Once it's done, place it right into an airtight container and put it in your deep freeze for another two to four hours until it has a much better hard freeze. Then it will be perfect for serving and be so scoopable, creamy, with a little hint of corn flavor. This is going to be one of your favorite ice creams to serve, and it's perfect for one of the last great months of summer, August. You guys are going to love this one. Enjoy. Thanks for watching this video. To see more videos that you might enjoy, click over here or click down here and subscribe to our channel to see all the great new videos we come out with each week. Can't wait to see you again.